Hey friends, this is Rahul and you're welcome to GoMahamaya.com and in this tutorial we are going to learn how you can properly configure W3 Cache Total so that you can increase your website speed from 2.2 seconds and pay score from 90 and voice score 77 to 96 page score and voice score 88 and page load time 1.6 seconds. For this, log into your dashboard now. Before I download and install the plugin, I should test my website speed. I'll go to GDmatrix, I'll paste my URL there and I'll click on Analyze. And I can see the loading time is 2.2 seconds and the page speed score is 90%. So I'll keep this in the side area. And now we are going to install W3 Cache Tool in our website. And now once you're logging into dashboard, you need to hover over plugin, click on Add New. And in the search bar, you need to type W3 Cache Total. And here you will get first option W3 Cache Tool which have 1 lakh active million installed. Click on install. Click on activate. And once the plugin get activated, if you will scroll down, you will find W3 Cache Tool in this area. And there you will find setting. You need to click on that. And now I got a pop up. They are asking my email ID. So I will cancel this because they will say my email ID and they will spam me. So I will cancel now. And first I will hide this hide this and if you're using Yoast plugin in your website then you'll find extension called w3 cache tool extra you need to click here to install that click there now and if you could not find that's fine no issue man so in this tutorial uh, i'll be only configuring the general option and be giving you basic details for all the options so inside the general option you first click on enable and once it's got enabled you need to click on save settings and purge cache and you can purge the cache from here and you can even purge the cache from purge all cache. This is going to delete all the cache from your website. Whenever you are writing any content, images, posts, it's not coming alive for you. If you edited something, it's not coming live, then try to clear the purge. Then your content will be live and try to clear the browser cache too. If you're using Chrome or Mozilla two place cache you need to clear in order to get the update happens now scroll down first option is the page cache you need to enable that what is page cache you are going to cache all the pages of your websites that says page cache and page cache method is disk enhanced this is only for the people those who are using shared hosting if you are using dedicated or virtual then you need to click here and you need to select one of these options but these options will not be activated unless until you are on dedicated or the virtual virtual server these two options are only for shared hosting if you want to upgrade i'll give you the best hosting link in the description box you can try that and once you are done you need to scroll down there's a minifications op what do you mean by the minification minification is minifying the css file and javascript file so that faster it can load so we'll enable minifications and you'll get a pop-up say I understood and I want to test the risk because I'm there for you to explain this so click on I understood the risk and the minification mode should be auto and here also minification cache method you have shared server and dedicated server these two options will be there only if you are on dedicated servers go for force option alternate PHP cache if you are on shared leave it to disk one because you cannot make a change and next you have three options html minifier javascript minifier and css minifier leave it to the default one the default one is the best one and click on save change and purge cache and one more important point i forget to tell you that you should use minification only if and if you're not using cloudflare because cloudflare have their own minifications option inside their own panel so you should disable minification if you're using cloudflare i again repeat that and now scroll down opcode cache what is that this is not highlighted because i'm not using the premium version if you're going for premium version go ahead for wp rocket that link i'll drop you in the description that's the best cache plugin you'll get in the market but i'll explain you what is opcode cache what are the php codes are there which is getting executed inside your website that is getting cached by op cache and that is only available for the premium user so you cannot do anything here now scroll down 
you need to enable database cache and what is database cache if you'll go to cpanel if you log in inside that you'll find mysql database and cache for databases is created by using option called database cache and for this cache method here also you cannot move to further one because you are using shared hosting you need to click save settings and purge cache and now once you are done with the database cache you need to click save setting and the purge cache and next option is the object cache before we check the object cache let me explain what is object cache object cache reduce your server load in some of the cases it may slow down your website speed too so before testing object cache we need to test our website speed we need to check whether it's slowing down our website speed or it's increasing our website speed so we are again going to analyze our website speed so that better we can optimize it so i'll click on analyze again so as you can see the page page score also increase voice score also increase and the page load time also decreases so earlier was 90 77 and now it's become 94 85 and even this thing also got decreases so now we'll go back and we'll enable that object cache so that we can test whether it's working fine for our website or not so i'll click on save setting and purge cache this is very important to check that's why i told you and now we'll go back to gd matrix again back and we'll test our website speed again and you can see the load time increases when i activated that option but rest of the options are similar only the load time got increase so i should disable that option is not working fine in my website so object cache is not good for my website so i'll skip this but sometimes it's happen only sometimes not every time so click on save all settings and move down to browser cache and browser cache is very important you have to enable that as you can see it's already enabled so i don't need to explain that this is very important for any website that need to be enabled now scroll down to cdn if you have purchased any cdn you'll you can enable this and select the cdn but if you haven't it will cost you extra money and if in case if you want to go for purchase i'll give you the best cdn link in the description box you can enable this and select that particular cdn and then click on save setting and purge cache that's it cdn will get enabled this is going to increase your website speed now scroll down as we don't have any cdn and next option you'll find reverse proxy setting up of reverse proxy is not easy you should not enable this unless and until you have varnish http cache this is not recommended for the beginners because a normal shared hosting does not support any varnish cache so skip reverse proxy and move down to fragment cache and inside the fragment cache you need to click here and you need to select the disk cache click on save all setting or you can click here save all setting and purge cache and now what is fragment cache it's a really third party cache the content we do not own for that we are using fragment cache and next if you scroll down you'll find monitoring option there's nothing need to be configured in monitoring option you can skip this and if you're going for upgrade version you need to press the key here i'm not choosing the upgrade one so i'll scroll down and now here you'll find miscellaneous options this is basically for speed checking like you can get page speed api if you click here you'll get that option so i does not feel like we should use that api in order to test our speed of our website so we are going to skip these options which is irrelevant for our optimizations and here you have to enable two options enable this and this and once you are done click on save change and purge cache now scroll down and there you'll find debug there's no use of doing debug for a beginners so skip this options and you can make this configuration export to another website by clicking on download this got downloaded you can choose a file and upload to get the same settings and now once you're done with the general setting you don't need to go for a separate setting for a higher version this is 
all advanced section if you want to go for and now we are done with the general setting of w3 cache tool once you are done with general setting automatic automatically all the settings will be applied to each and every options which is suitable for your website so no need to looking into each and every options separately now we are going to test our website speed so i'll paste my website url and i'll say analyze and now here you can see it's 94 85 and 1.7 we have properly configured that's why it's become 1.7 before that our speed was 2.2 and now we are going to reduce this further now you need to log into your cpanel and now once you are inside the cpanel you will find file managers you need to click on that and once you are inside the file manager if you have only one domain you will find public underscore html if you have many domain like demo.gomahamaya.com it will be like outside so i'll click on public underscore scml and there you need to click on setting and setting you need to click on show hidden files you need to click on save and you'll find dot scss file if you could not find dot scss file you need to click on file and here you need to type dot scss and click on create new file and you'll see already i have file so i have to click on ok I'll click on the SCSL file, click on edit and click on edit again and you need to open this particular link which says gomahamaya.com leverage browser cache you need to scroll down this link I'll provide you in the description box and you need to copy this particular code from here till last and copy that code go back to the SCSS file and move till the last and paste the code and click on save change now again go back to GD matrix and there you can see leverage browser caching of three or five contains are there now I'll click on retest again before I click on retest again I should purge all my cache now I'll click on retest and you can see the full load time also decreases become 1.6 and page speed and page speed score is 96 and voice score is 88 guard increases and for leverage browser caching it came down to only one content that we do not own this is a magical code that you can find only on my particular website and this leverage cache do not cache the content which your website do not own say you, you can see this is getting loaded from promo.propeller.com this is not loading from gomahamaya.com that's why it doesn't we cannot cache it otherwise it could have been around some 97 percent i think so and it could have been around 1.5 seconds so we'll compare the speed of the first time and the last time uh, first time it was 90 and now it's become 96 and voice code 88 out of 77 2.2 to 1.6 i hope you find this video useful if you have any question or query let me know in the comment section if you haven't clicked subscribe click on subscribe button for the more further updates thank you